The Strada is a great truck for many decades, but now it's time to move on. Mitsubishi is giving you this, the all-new Triton, and it's going to be big. We were in Japan recently to drive it, and we'll be giving you our first impressions on this all-new truck from Mitsubishi. So we're driving the all-new Triton here at their test track in their R&D center in Okazaki, Aichi Prefecture. We got to try out their new pickup on a high-speed course, varying road surfaces, gravel, and an off-road course. We were initially taken on shotgun rides with Mitsubishi's Japanese test drivers through an off-road course that displayed the various capabilities of the new chassis and platform. We got to test some of the new four-wheel drive modes as well. The Super Select four-wheel drive 2 system now gets seven modes. That's not exactly a segment first, but Mitsubishi does have more dune and rally experience. On the high-speed course, the truck felt very stable. Acceleration on the new 4N16 twin-turbo diesel was smooth. Power delivery was very linear with minimal to virtually no boost lag. It matched very well with the existing 6-speed automatic gearbox and it even cornered with confidence at speeds. Quite impressive for the truck of its height and size. The variable vane single turbo version felt a little more wanting despite only being 20 horses and 40 newton meters less. But that's of course after starting with the more powerful twin turbo version. Don't get me wrong, 184 PS is still a good figure and very capable for a base engine, if we can call it that. On gravel, it gives somewhat a sense of kick on the tail for a bit of excitement but the AYC in conjunction with the active center differential keeps everything in order. We got to feel the torque on both versions going on an uphill and testing the hill descent control to get back down. One thing to emphasize that their pickup is ready to take on the world. We were taken on another set of rides with Mitsubishi Works team driver Katsuhiko Taguchi through some man-made obstacles to test for body shell rigidity and eventually going up a 45 degree hill simulation ramp where we also rolled back down with the hill descent control in reverse. The new engine, new chassis, suspension, driving aids, and safety features build up a lot of confidence for Mitsubishi's all-new Triton pickup. Overall, it feels like a well-built pickup contender, and we really have to commend Mitsubishi Motors for building something that can finally compete with the top players in the segment. We're pretty ramped up with our drive of the all-new Triton, and we can't wait till we drive it here in the Philippines on local road conditions and Mitsubishi is launching this in late January. So watch out for the all-new Triton here in the Philippines come next year. <laughs>